but we're having a look today. Very, very special for stock. So, first out of the box, so a little present from Shana today. As you can see, it's a three ring jump out on a black mesh, um, stainless steel mesh. Oh, that's quite nice. The only thing I have a problem with mesh is it's getting still up. So I don't want to break things, you know. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I mean, some people swear by mesh bracelets. I don't. I don't like them. They're unforgiving where you need them to be a bit forgiving. Now that's the best I can do with it for this time being. I need to have a look at that. As you can see. Look at the inner ring, it's, it's rotating in, in the seconds. And the red low energy all time, time telling line. So Thank you, Sean. That was a lovely little gift to um, look for. Oh, Let's do some of this videos. Yeah. I don't have this one out often. That's my very first, first stock amphibia. £24 I'll pay for that. It doesn't get used much, but it still keeps absolutely sterling time. That was the first. That was the first amphibian. Now I'm going to put the second one on my wrist. Here's the second one. It's still waiting to be done. I suppose I could put it on my wrist. Oh, what's the toy? Oh, it's falling off. Um, Everything's in there, like, you know. This is the one that was issued as given as a gift to somebody in service. It's got like military titles on it and stuff. So it's inscribed in the back. That's why I'm taking very careful with that one. So. Here comes number three. On a two piece Zulu 5 ring. Brand new, never been used, very stiff still. But the good thing is because of this construction and everything, get the bloody things I've got to do up. Don't know what's the matter with me or what she's to do. So we've seen before. That's a nice, nice big beast for watch. Here's the third one. This is a limited edition. VPO Vostok Amphibia. It was, um, it was done in celebration of uh, 50 years of making the helicopters for the military company that does it, KVPO, for the Russian forces. Well, it isn't supposed to be in that wavy pillow case for the O6O. It is supposed to be in the octagonal type case like that one there. Thing is, I don't like the octagonals. I like the wavy pillows and I like the 090s. And there you go. And we all know this is the one I built. This is the Vostok that Ian built. I think that's going to make a film any time soon, do you? Uh, oh. 
what people swear so much about these bloody night hoods, because I don't really like them that much. A bit fiddly. There we go. There's the 090 that Ian built. Very pleased with it. And here comes today's special edition. One one nine Vostok Amphibia. Bottle green and sunburst dial. Paid markers, painted markers, well, painted markers. Paddle hands, I don't know if you notice, it's got the very, very rare paddle hands. And if you look at the case, it is just a slight bit smaller than the 090. Now, from what I can understand, uh, when the Soviets stopped being a thing, they stopped making these. Right? That's why you don't see them anymore. Right. And that's why some people are going, oh, that's a strange looking 090. Well, it's not an 090. It's a 119. It's just a very, very subtle change. I suppose that Vostok, what they did was, was that to consolidate having two different presses and two different sets of machines and stuff to make two very, very similar things. <laughs> What's the point? I like, must have just made, decide on one. And they went with the 090. So, uh, they all have made in USSR on them, as if they're for export. No, oh, isn't that lovely? Isn't it? It's got a slightly different crown to all the amphibias I've noticed as well. It's got a very roundy sort of... It's almost like it's, it's like a slightly fat. You know, it's a lovely, it's a lovely watch. You have to excuse me. Um, I've been playing with, I've been discovering with my um, my Sanyo that turned up today. Didn't realise it. Don't, unlike the Hawaii, which has like um, self lightening and you know stuff like that, light diffusion and things. That thing actually needs light to help make it work. So I need to work all that out. It came with um charger and a cable and all this, you know. I mean it's a better camera than the Samsung. But I'll put it that way. And it can record, that can record in 1080p, which the Samsung can't do. So well, let's take you to the out view, excuse me, and we'll see what's going on. So what do you think of all that then, like? I think that's, uh, you know, that's my sixth amphibia, I think it's a worthy um, addition to the collection. I don't have any, like, uh, bottle green dialed amphibias. Oh, excuse me. Oh. It's been one of them days. All it's been a day is like pound, pound, pound of the heat. It's like unbelievable. Mm, yeah, no. I'll tell you what, if I lived on a cliff, I would have jumped off it in the sea by now. I, I, I say yeah, it's, that, it's got that bad. I don't usually suffer with the heat, but these soggy bloody tablets they give me, like, you know, they, they just absolutely, like, you know, you feel like your heart's blowing up. It's absolutely rotten, you know. And, um, I know that uh, Shilla said, well, you know, life without me, life without pain has no meaning. Like, come on, right? You know, it's taking a piss. Um, sorry to hear about it. There was um, a rail crash today up in uh, Montrose, or between um, Dundee and Montrose. And, like, um, poor old HST got, got hit a landslide, like, and killed, killed three people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's a shame as well those HSTs because they, 
<laughs> Those high speed trains, like, um, they've had such a brilliant safety record. And, like, you know, it wasn't the train's fault or anything. Like, you know, and this is what happens when you take people off of walking the track sides every day of the week, every day of the year. And rely on these computer trains that run once a month along the railway line because they don't get to see what's happening with the ground. Whereas a plate layer, like, you know, somebody who's responsible, say, for two or three miles for more of this track, you know, even five miles, like, he could see what's coming. Like, you know, he really can. And, you know, this is what, I mean, you know, by the time the Tories are finished, like, you know, the only people in, like, you know, 100 miles of railway land that will actually be anything to do with the railways would be one driver. Because everybody else will be gone. Like, you know, and this is why you need to have safety as paramount. So I'm very sorry to hear that, like, you know, up in Scotland. It was, um... Oh, well, there's no I can't stop that morning. Well, you know, I'll see if I can edit it out, like, you know. Um, I've not really got much in there. I've not been buying very much. I've got everything where I want it to be, like, you know. I've got me ostentatious looking at 119. So, I used to get the 119B from um, Bromley North to East Croydon. That was it. Yeah, was it all the 109B? No. No, it was the 119B, because it used to go all the way down through West Wickham, like, you know, past um, the Vesper Place in West Wickham, like, in the Sector 64 Scooter Club lot, like, you know, um, and there was, a, there was a girl from over that way called Jenny, and I tell you what, she was one of these ladies that, you know, she might have been wearing her thread berries and her things, right? Like, you know, but she was in all the old suspenders and, you know, basques and everything, like, you know, she was pretty good for a young girl, like, you know. And don't ask me how I know, because I ain't saying it. Like, don't kiss and tell. Um, and then it would go all the way around the back end of, like, you know, cherry orchards, and, like, in, like these coins and sort of thing, like, you know. Um, because I was born in Croydon, like, you know, born in Fontenay, Mayday Hospital, and, you know, for all my suits. Born, created, jumped out of a bucket, I don't know, like, you know, some people would say, some people would say, oh, like, you know, wish your, wish your mum had an headache the night you were born, mate, you know, like, but I don't care, because they'd never say it to my face, and if they did, they'd probably end up, like, you know, the, picking their teeth up off the floor, because you know, I don't know anybody having a gun in there. <laughs> so, I will keep it a short one tonight, you know, I thought I'd have a quick, you know, a bit, a bit of sympathy for the people that, you know, obviously been on that train. There's something wrong with that bloody yawns. I'm really sorry, that's, that's bad, that is, it's, it's because, it's, it, I don't know, it's because it's warming up, I've been on Warcraft and, you know, I'm a bit tired, uh, you know. Before people say, oh, well done, Minnie, you was wearing that T-shirt yesterday. Uh, no, I wasn't. That T-shirt's just in the washing machine. It's just finished drying. This is my... I've got two or three of these, like, you know, like, in each flavour. I've got three mint... Um, what's it? Luminous yellow. I've got one blue with pink. I've got two of these big lime. And I've got another one with Lonsdale. So, you know, I've got quite a few, but I went, these orange ones, I mean, you know, this is not the same one. So, I really don't think there's much more else to say tonight, except, like, you know, hope it finds you well, and, you know, and um, keep safe, keep lucky, like, you know. I mean, uh, they're, they're trying to, oh yeah, that was it, they're trying to cook the books on um, how many people have died from Covid. Like, and, uh, and it was, oh, what was the other thing as well? Vapours. Uh, if you vote, vape, like, you know, says this study in America, financed by some dodgy arm of some tobacco company or, or something like that, you're going to get COVID. Really? So, vaping causes you to get COVID. How is that? I, I know, what is it? I mean, yeah, okay, if someone was to cough and yeah, <laughs> in your e you probably are going to get COVID, like, you know? Apparently, e-cigs or vapes are likely to cause you to get COVID. 
you know, it says the Stanford University over in America. I mean, I, I don't reckon, you know, the, you know, like these, these are all like, you know, like, you know, like cheap, cheap rubbishy bloody universities. Ten decent universities are in Britain, like, you know. I mean, they, they, they're the proper ones, like, you know. When, like, you know, Oxford was like, you know, like opening its doors, like America was still running around with native Indian um, Americans, like, you know, with feathers in their ass, sort of thing, you know, you know. So when they earn some gravitas and some, you know, and something a bit more than it's like a bloody hot dog, like, you know, then I might listen. But like, you know, when, when they're being financed, this particular study's being financed by dodgy people to say, no, oh, doing vaping gives you COVID-19, like, you know, I ain't listening. So, like, a lot of things will give you COVID-19, like, you know, becoming a cunning linguist with a lady with it, like, you know, if a lady was to do, like, you know, the deed, like, on a bloke with it, yeah, yeah you're all going to get it, like, you know, so just don't do it, you know, slap your wrist, you know, become a Tory. No, don't become a Tory. Um, you know. Chuck a Tory off a cliff. Yeah, I like that one. So I'll give that one a double thumbs up. Chucking Tories off a cliff is a good thing. I mean, you know, I mean, the best way to make a Tory smile is to take your foot off his neck. I you know, or take the vibrator out of his arsehole. Harvey pops and slaps your legs. Right. Catch you in the next one. I'm just very tired, so I'm a bit like trapping. Good night, all.